you've encountered paranoids before, perhaps without even realizing it. It's basically everywhere now, from images, 3D objects, audio files and probably more. It's a map that gives a sense of smooth randomness which is pretty damn crucial to develop procedurally generated assets. The 2D noise algorithm which you'll construct today takes a 2D coordinate and returns a number that ranges from negative 1 to 1. In an archer it takes 2 scalars and returns 1. To visualize a 2D array filled with different values we map each value into a color. For instance let's define 0 as black, 1 as white and interpolate between black and white for every values in between. To achieve this we can calculate the value of the parallel noise for every coordinate adjust by adding 1 and scaling it by 0.5. Creating the actual 2D parallel noise function is the goal of this video. Let's delve into it now. Parallel noise operates on a chunk system where each chunk is 1 unit long. This means as the map size increases, the number of chunks also increases. While optional, I recommend scaling down the initial coordinates by the map size X or Y. This ensures that as the map expands, the number of chunks remain relatively consistent. For a quick setup, declare the button left of each chunk as the integral part of the coordinate. And let's define the OX and OY as the offsets from the bottom left to the coordinate. In other words, the distance from the bottom left of each chunk to the coordinate. Consider selecting the bottom left corner of your coordinates chunk and drawing a random vector with a length equal to 1. The dot product of vector A and vector B represents their dissimilarity. Repeating this process for every pixel of this chunk results into a gradient, where pixels more similar to vector A are lighter. What you're observing is the gradient for the bottom left map, one of the four maps of the parallel noise. Each corner of the chunk has its own map, therefore let's compute that product for every single corner. The final step involves blending those maps together. Typically the first maps are blended horizontally, so we can learn between the upper left with the upper right maps and lower left with the lower right map using the OX. Once the horizontal blending is complete, the resulting maps are blended vertically by lerping between two horizontally blended maps using the OY. There is a slight issue here. As you see the corners are abrupt. To fix that, let's try smoothing the interpolation factor instead of directly lerping, which provides a more gradual transition between the corners, resulting into smoother gradients. And there you have it, a fully functioning parallel noise which you can use for whatever you need. If you have any feedback or questions, leave them in the comments, otherwise see you next time.